I'm Ricardo Ibarra, editor of bilingual newspaper La Prensa Sonoma. It's Cinco de Mayo in the Roseland neighborhood of Santa Rosa. Cinco de Mayo commemorates the Mexican Army's defeat of the French Army at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. The unincorporated Roseland neighborhood was annexed by the city of Santa Rosa in 2017. I'm talking to community members today about how they see the neighborhood changing. Marcos J. Suarez of the Sonoma County Economic Development Board is the first person I meet. There's been a lot of talk about gentrification happening in, in this community in Roseland. Uh, are you aware of that? Is there anything that you've heard about this issue? Well, well definitely there is. Whenever you have economic development, uh, there's always, like in San Francisco in the Mission District, gentrification always happens, right? So there is that uh, fear in the community that, oh, now there's there's going to be gentrification. Gentrification obviously is not a good thing. We want to keep our community here. And so for us at the Economic Development Board, one of the things that we've been doing is, is working with the MIDPEN, who's a affordable housing, and together with the county and the city to look at how do we work primarily with the businesses that are here already in Roseland and people in the community that may want to start a business and keep it local. The proposed Roseland Village project would build a mix of affordable and market rate housing in this area. Nancy Calderon is a community leader and coordinator of Mitote, an outdoor Mexican food court that will open here this summer. She says maintaining a strong and vibrant cultural identity is essential in these times. Do you consider yourself Mexicana, uh, Latina, Mexican American? How do you identify yourself? Bueno, I'm I'm Mexicana only, and I say this because I was born in Mexico and I was brought here at six months, so I may be Mexican American because I, I I'm also a citizen here as well. What do you think of the ways that Latinos and Mexican are represented in the United States? Well, right now it's pretty tough. I feel like more now than ever, we have to be united and work together. Many families already find it hard to afford living here. People are forcing to move strangers into their homes so they could help them uh, pay the mortgage, pay the rent. People are getting notices for them to move out of their uh, place that they've been renting for many years because rents are just going extremely high. My heart is in Sonoma County, but I feel like we're being forced out of Sonoma County. The 2017 wildfires exacerbated an already tight housing supply in the North Bay. Santa Rosa Junior College student and reigning Miss Latina wine country, Janelle Estupinan, grew up in this area. So do you think that gentrification is already happening here in Rosen? You've mentioned that there's been, there have been better roads now. Do you think that it's happening in some way? I, feel, I think so. There's actually a street, I'm not sure what it's called, but they just made apartments there and they are very, very expensive, so I, it is happening. The rent is pretty high right now, so I just hope that it kind of settles down for us students that, you know, we want to find somewhere to live and it's just hard. Not everyone fears gentrification. Octavio Diaz, who will operate the Mitote Food Park, says attracting people from other areas will be good for business and will in turn create more local jobs. I see as an opportunity for Roseland to grow in a, in a more positive way. The roads need to get fixed, the schools need help. The people uh, are really hungry for, to educate their kids. And I'm really excited because I want to be part of that and, and help my, our community. There's a lot of immigrant families that want to start their businesses and be successful, and I believe that the American dream is just that. So you're not concerned about rents going up? Well, everybody's concerned about everything, housing, rents, but uh, that's why you have to participate in your communities. You have to be involved. You have to go to city meetings. This is the one time out of the year that I get to wear this hat. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I get to enjoy it and actually look like a charro, you could say. You do, and then it matches. Uh... That's why. Officer Lopez says knowing neighbors and living close to family is important culturally. I had to live somewhere to be able to work there and know it, to be able to build it up. 
if you're just coming in from the outside, you're not going to know the streets. You're not going to know your people. You're not going to know. And if those people are leaving also, then that's not going to work out and they have to leave somewhere else. So that's what makes the communities that you want generations. I want just how my mom came here and my dad. And yes, they were the, you know, technically the first generation that we were here. But I want my children to live here and be established here and grow up where I grew up. And I want their children to do exactly the same thing. Yeah. But if it's getting too expensive, if they can't be here, they're going to have to go somewhere else and that's going to be lost. Yeah.